bring uh, good news as we prepare to open up our uh, society again. We are going to, uh, this time of uh, separation was coming to an end, but in stages. Starting next Monday, May 18th, we will be able to uh, attend public masses during the week. They will be here in the main church uh, to, in order to maintain a healthy social distance. And we will still uh, um, stream them live as well as our bishop has asked and it's been very good. On the weekend of May 23rd and 24th, we will have Sunday Masses in English and in Spanish at the usual times. Sunday Mass at 9 a.m. in English, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. in Spanish will continue to be broadcast on Facebook Live. Bishop Conderla continues to grant the dispensation from attending Mass if someone does not feel safe and or feels vulnerable so you, if you do not attend Mass, you're okay. It is important that if you have any symptoms or have allergies, it is better to stay at home and participate in the Eucharist through Facebook Live and our spiritual communion. If you decide to come to Sunday Mass, please take into consideration the following. Only 33% or a third of the church capacity will be allowed in order to once again maintain safe distance and safety practices. From the moment you get out of your car, please keep your distance six feet from each other. At the entrance of the church, an usher will indicate which pew to sit. All pews will be numbered. Everyone is encouraged to bring a face mask and antibacterial gel or wipes. If you come as a family, you can all gather together. And if you come alone, you'll be assigned a seat, once again, with proper social distancing. When our Father is prayed, please do not hold hands or seek to hold hands with others, once again, in this new, time, this, uh, new experience we have. The sign of peace will be omitted. I will, of course, proclaim the priest's words, and we will go with that, that that's, at this point, that signifies we're all sharing in the peace of the Lord. If you're going to receive communion, you will have to disinfect your hands with antibacterial gel or antibacterial wipes. You will receive communion in your place by placing uh, left hand above the right and the minister will give you communion. The minister who distributes communion must also use antibacterial gel before and after distributing the sacred sacrament that they may and they must also wear face masks while the distribution of communion. The offering will be deposited in the baskets that will be located in the, at the entrance of the church. In other words, there will not be a part of mass after the uh, prayers of the faithful where we take up collection. We just ask you to put it in a basket when you come into church or when you leave. Um, if the ca capacity of the church uh, area ex reaches 33% or a third and you decide to stay, you must stay in your car in the parking lot for participating in the Eucharist. You can use your mobile phone and after everyone inside the church has exited, you may come into the church to receive communion. And uh, as a note, during some of the masses, communion will be distributed outside if necessary. We will be creative to see what works best for the parish community. Bishop has granted us that to be, to be creative, to make sure everyone can participate. Um, it, everyone requires patience. We require patience on everyone's part, but it also depends on keeping doors open during Masses. It is time to practice charity with each other, above, always above all. We have an invitation. Monday, May 18th, that is a week from tomorrow, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., we will have the Blessed Sacrament exposed in the parking lot. And you may come to thank and pray to our God. Uh, if you want to stay in the safety of your car, the comfort of your car, that's fine. At the entrance of the parking lot, they will hand out a prayer for you to pray while standing before the Lord. 
and the entrance to the parking lot will be coming from 21st Street on 129th. You can make your moment of prayer inside your vehicle and following indications, uh, you, will be, you will exit the parking lot uh, for turning, uh, turning to your public masses. You know, as our parish groups, as for our parish groups, they will continue to meet through Zoom conference calls. Our offices will remain open during the usual business hours, Tuesday through Friday. And thank you for your cooperation. And we'll also begin to return to our normal schedule. So um, Mondays, there will be, uh, starting Monday, we'll uh, have, next Monday we'll have uh, no daily mass. We're, as uh, we return to our normal schedule, uh, so the, uh, we can have a priest day off uh, and be able to go do something. But anyhow, we also do ask and re uh, that receiving communion always be done in the hand. It is a great devotion. I understand that people like to receive on the tongue. And if you come forth and do that, well, of course, I'll receive on the tongue. But just remember, in this time of social distancing, um, it's a better practice to receive it in your hand. We do give thanks to God that we are able to start returning to our normal uh, style of worship. It will take longer as we, uh, till we uh, are able to go to fully return to normal where we allow the church to be full. Bishop will um, inform us when that will happen. Uh, so we continue to ask patience and take this time of trial and testing as a time to grow in your faith. Thank you and God bless you.